Hi everyone, my name is Wink and today I'm going to show you how to sew in the ends with your darning needle. Grab your hooks, let's get started. In this example I'm going to show you how to sew in the ends in a crochet project that is made using single crochet stitches only, worked back and forth in rows. So grab your yarn tail and thread through your darning needle. Then flip over your work because we're going to sew in the end on the back side of your work. Now if you look closely you'll see that each single crochet stitch is made up of two tiny stitches. We're going to use those tiny stitches to work in our ends. With your needle go under each of the loops of the single crochet stitches and then pull your needle through. You can stop right here but for extra security it's a good idea to track back. So skip the last loop and then with your needle go under the remaining loops again pull your needle through and be sure not to pull on the yarn tail too hard grab your scissors and clip the end and that's it you successfully and almost invisibly sewn in your ends in this example I've made a circle using double crochet stitches. The sewing in of the end goes quite the same way as for the other project. You thread your needle with a yarn tail. You've already flipped over your work. And if you look closely all the double crochet stitches form loops in a circle that you can use to sew in your yarn tail. So with your needle pick up the loops and pull through. For extra security, track back by skipping the last loop and returning your needle back to where it came from. Now grab a pair of scissors and cut the yarn tail. And that's it, you've now sewn in the ends for a circular project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out touchplus.com for more crochet, knitting and crafting tutorials.